day, I'm Zulika Aliaya reporting from TV Unicel. 5th September 2013 is another history for Unicel. Today, the world witnessed the birth of TV Unicel. Unicel is the first university in Malaysia which has its own web TV. We are going to interview uh, our faculty dean, um, Professor Azimuddin. So, Prof. Um, in your opinion, what do you think about the existence of uh, TV in itself? Uh, certainly, it's a very uh, big move forward for the faculty uh, because uh, although the faculty has, has only been existent for, uh, for four years, we have already moved forward from you know ju not just producing uh, print uh, newspaper in the form of The Voice, but now we are going uh, you know, much further into having our own TV. Um, TV Unisol. In fact, this is uh, the first uh, university having uh, such a facility uh, for the students. Well, other than uh, directly um, giving the students uh, training and practices how to operate a TV uh, studio and produce, for example, a video uh, and also programs um, like news like this, okay, uh, but also an opportunity for the, uh, for the uh, university to advertise itself. Uh, in terms of uh, what programs are you know, going on in the campus uh, and also uh, taking opportunity to also uh, allow um, our you know, academicians like professors who are specialists in certain areas you know, to discuss about you know, their disciplines. Now we are going to interview our Deputy Dean. Okay, sir, um, based on your opinion, what do you think about the existence of TV in itself? Oh, thank you uh, for giving the interview. Um, it's uh, very agreed uh, on the suggestion of, and setting up TV news because now, um, not like previous years where stand, uh, setting up a TV station, it needs millions of ringgit now. Uh, you can have about 20 or 3,000 or a few um, mount like that, you can set up a TV news In the world of globalization and technology, uh, it's not impossible even to set up an internet TV. And uh, I think among the, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, among the university, uh, in private university, uh, Unicel can become the first uh, university to set up a TV Unicel and internet TV Unicel. And I support with the, with the opening up because it will open up to students uh, to know and to learn of how to edit, to, to write news uh, and even to film a documentary. Thank you, sir. And um, do you really think that this existence should help, shall help our university? Yeah, it should help because it exposes our university to the world of internet, to the world of uh, e-media, you know. Uh, and anything, uh, event that happened uh, uh, about Unicel, uh, people can view it, the whole world can view it through the internet, through the YouTube. And TV um, Unicel existence is a must for every Unicellian uh, to know about what is happening uh, in UNISA and in the world around. Well, now we are going to interview one of our lecturers, Sir Nasri. Okay, Sir Nasri, based on your opinion, what do you think about the existence of our web TV, TV UNICEL? Well, knowing the current trend, uh, the students are, uh, I think everybody is uh, on their uh, social media. So this is very important for UNICEL able to communicate with the students. I think with this uh, web media, I mean, specifically our TV UNICEL, it uh, may you know, attract more students you know, to get to know UNICEL better. I think through this web TV, we are able to communicate uh, better with the students. I think that's my opinion. Okay, thank you, sir. And uh, how do you think it will help our university? Yes, definitely. I, I am very sure that uh, with this uh, TV in itself, we, we may be able to reach more to more people, you know, mm -hmm. around the world, probably the whole world. Yeah? So we are able to communicate, uh, I mean, with the traditional, for example, like uh, advertising, you know, through newspaper. Too. I think it doesn't work anymore because everybody now is, uh, I mean, start with uh, social media, with internet. So I think this is the right time for UNICEL to use uh, this media to communicate uh, our program or to, to attract people to UNICEL. Okay, um, so good morning, Madam Hazwin. Um, what, based on your opinion, what do you think about the existence of our UNICEL TV? 
I think it's a great platform for our students to train, uh, get used to the equipment, and we do have, uh, you know, have had the opportunity to get all the state-of-the-art equipment, um, like the camera you're using right now, and also the microphones, and as well as the studio facility, which is uh, really good. Um, you know, if you've had the chance to go in, you'll be very impressed. And how do you think our web TV shall help our university? I think it will help the university in many ways, uh, namely to market the university. I mean, we already op open the university to international students. So by this way, you know, it makes everything a lot simpler. Um, you know, we don't just um, rely on the traditional conventional ways, word of mouth and, you know, getting the local students involved in other things. But uh, the web itself, you know, should be used as an avenue to market things and uh, be, be taken and uh, to full use, full advantage. Uh, so, Ms. Shamala, um, what do you think uh, about uh, the existence of our TV Unicell, based on your opinion? Okay, uh, this Unicell TV is uh, it's a very good uh, exposure for students, for them to gain an uh, industrial experience prior to their you know, working environment, before going stepping onto their working environment. So this will give them a head start so that they know what to anticipate when they are actually working. So how is the news world is all about? What are they supposed to do? before entering the uh, job field. This is Unicell, so this is, um, this is the first TV in Malaysia. So we are in the head side. So uh, if we are in the head side, we are being the pioneers in this field. So we will set an example to other universities in Malaysia to actually launch a TV and give their own students a head start. So yes, this is a thing that should be welcomed and uh, yes, uh, we are looking into greater um, heights in the future. Now we are going to interview one of our lecturers from IT faculty. So, uh, Madam, uh, based on your opinion, what do you think about the existence of TV Unicell? Okay, I think it's a good uh, achievement for uh, for Unicell, especially because uh, I think uh, there's no university that have uh, TV. So it's a the great achievement and it's a good movement for Unicell and then for the faculty itself. And then congratulate for your faculty. Uh, Faculty of media, uh, Communication and Media for having this uh, good program. So I hope uh, in the future you have, um, I mean, uh, this one is much more bigger and interesting and at all. How do you think it will help our university? Okay, uh, first we can focus to the, I mean, for experience and then for, uh, for marketing itself so that uh, when uh, students will know about this TV and then they will keep asking oh, this is belong to which university and it's a part of our marketing and promoting the news itself. Okay, thank you so much madam for your time. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome. I'm Zulika Lea reporting for TV Nisel. Thank you.